The recent leak of over 100 classified U.S. intelligence documents on social media has created a diplomatic turmoil. The U.S. officials are struggling to contain the fallout as the leaked documents contain alleged evidence of U.S. spying on South Korea, Nigeria, and Egypt. These revelations have raised concerns among U.S. allies and have made it challenging to maintain trust in a world where technological advances have made it easier to hack into sensitive government data. The South Korean government, for example, has expressed outrage over the alleged U.S. spying on allies, given the long-standing alliance between the two countries to deter North Korea's aggression. The Biden administration is facing growing criticism from its allies for allegedly spying on them. The leaks have underscored the challenges of maintaining trust among allies. Similarly, a leaked U.S. document has revealed that Egypt secretly planned to produce and supply rockets to Russia. The document states that President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi planned to produce 40,000 rockets for Russia in February, and instructed officials to keep the production and shipment secret to avoid problems with the West. The revelation has raised concerns among Western countries, as it could signal a shift in Egypt's foreign policy. In March 2023, classified U.S. military documents surfaced on an Internet server, revealing granular details of Ukraine's dwindling supplies and troop dispositions during Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The leak has sparked fears of a possible rupture in trust between the U.S. and its allies, particularly Kyiv, which is fighting to repel Russian aggression. Classified documents concerning the U.S. and NATO's efforts to support Ukraine in the upcoming spring counteroffensive have been leaked on social media sites, Twitter and Telegram. The leak could potentially provide Moscow with a tactical advantage, providing intelligence about the timing of weapons and troop deliveries, as well as troop buildups. Military analysts predict that the spring strike will focus on Russian-occupied territory in southeastern Ukraine. No more than five people know when and where the spring strike will take place, according to Ukrainian National Security Chief Alexei Davilov. The Defense Department launched an investigation into the leaks and acknowledges that they are legitimate Defense Department documents. Some content appears to have been altered to inflate Ukraine's casualty numbers, possibly to further Moscow's disinformation efforts. The Pentagon has opened an investigation to determine how the material was leaked or stolen. The Department of Justice has also opened an investigation into the leaks and has been in communication with the Department of Defense. The documents include maps of Ukraine and charts on where troops are concentrated and what kinds of weapons are available to them. The online posts show photos of physical documents that were folded and creased in some instances. The documents appear genuine, but the original versions were likely altered in some places. The death toll listed on one chart is around 71,000, which is considered plausible, but the Russian count is believed to be much larger. The leaked documents about the war in Ukraine do not contain battle plans for a widely expected Ukrainian offensive this spring. However, they do provide information about combat brigades that Ukraine is assembling, and when they should be ready to fight. According to James Stavridis, a retired four-star admiral who served as the 16th Supreme Allied Commander of NATO, and currently working as an analyst for NBC News, Cyber attacks on critical infrastructure are the future of warfare, and nations need to prepare accordingly. He argues that the US needs to take a much more proactive approach to cyber defense, and that includes developing better attribution capabilities and improving international cooperation. According to Stavridis, the US needs to make it clear to its adversaries that cyber attacks on critical infrastructure will not be tolerated, and there will be consequences. He suggests that the U.S. government should consider establishing a cyber alliance of like-minded nations to coordinate responses to cyber threats. Ultimately, the cyber attacks highlights the growing threat of cyber warfare and the need for nations to take proactive steps to defend against it. As technology continues to advance, cyber attacks will only become more sophisticated and destructive. It is up to governments and private organizations to invest in cyber defenses and prepare for the inevitable attacks that will come. By doing so, 
we can minimize the damage and disruption caused by cyber warfare and ensure the safety and security of our critical infrastructure. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe our channel for more videos.